Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you very much for your tweet. Shaq is here, as is Jules. Stevie's tired. He was up at 8 a.m. to go to the dentist this morning. I can't remember the last time I was up at 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely felt strange. How was that? Was it exciting? Oh, Were the awful. dentist? Yeah, we have, awful. Was the, did you get a free toothbrush? Tell you to floss lollipop. more? Tell you what. Did you get a lollipop anything? <laughs> Tell you what, they had to chisel my hands off the chair. I was like, ah, I was <laughs> holding on for you scared? You're scared of the dentist? Scared. Oh, I hate it. Oh. What do you hate about it? Uh, I just, when I was a kid, I had the worst dentist ever. I right. wouldn't mention his name. Right. Because he was an uncle of a friend of mine. Oh, okay. Uh, is he still alive? I don't know. He probably isn't, but... Right. Surely things have moved on. <laughs> you wouldn't remember. You, wouldn't remember. you know when you, you, you were, like, getting a tooth out? Right. You got gas. Yes. I mean, gas, think about it. Right. Sitting back in the chair and somebody gassing you. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with that? <laughs> what a butcher it was. Oh, wow. But is this, this must be a nicer dentist. Yeah, but I still... I just... The music wasn't it good either at the dentist. Though, really oh, the what was, what was the music? What was the music? What was all that Christmas nonsense? Oh, Christmas <laughs> music! <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, oh, oh goodness! Where oh, oh, you go? Oh, oh, stupid goodness. Christmas music. People saying happy holiday. Oh, happy everybody people. being happy yeah, and singing songs. Oh, enough of that. Yeah, nobody needs that. The right. Hotel. Let's let's talk some let's gas. talk some soccer. Uh, should Manchester United fans consider Pogba gone, Jules? Ooh. I don't think so. He hasn't made his mind up. I think Rangnick arriving and we will see the direction that the team is taking with him and that Paul is going to come back to full fitness um, quite soon now and be involved, I suspect, in that team. Uh, and, then, and then I think that will help him deciding if he wants to stay. If the club wants him to stay, if Rangnick wants him to stay, and we know that Rangnick will have a big say on, on who stays, who goes, who comes. So I think, I think that would play a big part in it. But I don't think right now, I mean, there's a lot of United fans who want him gone, some who want him to stay. But him, I, I, still, I still think that very much a lot is still in the air, basically. Who was your footballing hero growing up, Jules? And did you ever get to meet them? Mm. Uh, so I liked I liked David Ginola a lot when I was a kid. Oh, and then Frank we, will be we, really we, we even worked together. <laughs> Yeah, but Frank Frank was like not playing for PSG to start with, and then he was he was playing for Marseille. So he had he you know that was that was wrong. That was not that was not the right. But um, but yeah, I have to say the PSG players, George Weah, David Ginola especially, and then someone like Alain Roche. I liked I liked them all. But Francesco Lee was a big big. I was a big fan of Francesco Lee as well. Is that, they they always say never make your heroes. Was there anyone that you met you were like oh you you've disappointed me in life. It, it was interesting, to put it that way, to work with David Ginola, for sure. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow. Shaq, what about you? Who did you uh, A few. <laughs> a few. Alex Williams, black goalkeeper for Manchester City back in the day. Right. Never met him, but I was actually on a Zoom call with him a few weeks ago. Ray Clements, who I, I worked with when I got called up to, to the England team. Uh, and then... Um, so, so those two and and uh, oh goodness me, no name. Oh no. Yeah. You're right, Jack. What's no, that? No, name Mario Kempes. Good lord, <laughs> Mario Kempes was kind of so. So the seventy-eight World Cup. I was nine years old. Okay. And that was kind of the, the first World Cup that I really knew what was going on and took everything in. And of course, Kempes, they won it, leading scorer, played blah blah blah. And then met him first day when I came into ESPN. Was that, that was surreal? And talk about unassuming. Mario Kempes uh, the most un unassuming. Un man unbelievably you can be. unassuming. Unbelievable. Kicking penalties with Mario Kempes in the airport in, in South Africa in 2010. Yeah. I mean that is just typical Mario. I mean it is unbelievable. Did you save any? Um, act may have done. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, what about you? <laughs> uh, one you probably want to hear though. Willie Henderson played for Rangers. I was a Rangers fan. Right. But Willie Henderson and George Best. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, I never got to meet Willie Henderson. OK. But I met George. Did you have a drink with George Best? I didn't have a conversation. George didn't say a lot. Right. I'm not sure whether it was because he was just very shy. OK. Or whether he maybe had one too many. But he never said a word. <laughs> I was actually on the same table as him. It was, in, it was in Dubai. We played Celtic in Dubai. Right. 
Uh, and he was given the Man of the Match award out, which he gave to me. Thank you very much. Wow, Stevie. And then we we went to the, the after dinner um, dinner. <laughs> and I was sat at the same table. I was like, ah, unbelievable. But he never spoke. Mm. Wow. He never spoke. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Jules, which front three would you prefer? Lewandowski, Salah, and Vinicius Jr. Or Messi, <laughs> Mbappe, and Neymar. <laughs> <laughs> He's really? all depressed, Jules, already. <laughs> really? already depressed. I mean, that's easy, Jules. Come on. Yeah. Easy. Uh, you know, I, I would rather I would rather Dan Thomas, Tivi Nicola, and Julian Laurence front three because Saka can't play up top. Uh, wow. so I, I, would, I, would, I would, you know, that, that would be my, my choice. I was actually, I was I'm born sorry. A I'm sorry, you look shocked that we fall down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> I can't go all the way. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I think I'm contractually obliged to, to take anything with Kylian Mbappé in it. So, of course, I will go for the Neymar, Mbappé and uh, Messi from three. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Hold on, mate. You just oh, said... Uh, <laughs> you just said you have Sorry. Dan before Mbappé. We've just, we've just finished this show, right? <laughs> we've just finished this show and you've annihilated PSG, <laughs> which... Guess what? Mbappe, Neymar, and Messi are a big part of. Mm -hmm. You said there's they're, no, they're like there's no patterns, like if you said there's no to playing me. together, there's no nothing. So, and then you're going to turn it's down. Like Let's pick three random Vinicius. kids. <laughs> or your three own children. I have to go with my children, even if they're not uh, as good as the other three kids from the down the road. Who are you having, Shane? What, are my children? No, we're not talking with your no. children. Oh, no, I was about to say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd have three down the street, please. Um, I'm having the first three. Yeah. Lewandowski, Salah, Vinicius. I have no, I have no contractual obligations to Mbappe. That bottom three shown us nothing. Right. Nothing. So you can't go wrong if you choose the other three because you've got nothing from the bottom. The, from the, the bottom boss. three should from be the, the better three. three. Right. <laughs> but we've seen nothing of them together. Right. So we're taking the first three. Yeah. Yes. Even though they're Jules' children. Take <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody else's children, Jules. Uh, <laughs> it's an eclectic mix of extra time questions today. Shaka, why does Neil call himself Shaka? You want the, so, my mother always wanted to name her first boy child Neil. Right. Here I am. My father believed that we should have African names to reflect our heritage. So Shaka is actually my second name. But my father would only call me Shaka, so... So what does Shaka mean? Shaka is after the South African Zulu king. Oh, oh. big time. Oh, a little blue blood in the veins. Huh? Yes, that's, that's how I rose, Stephen. Hey. So does your mother call you Neil? Does anyone Nobody call you Neil? <laughs> no one calls you Neil? Nope. Even when you were naughty, it wasn't a Neil wouldn't be brought nope. out. No, no, it wouldn't, no. Oh. Seeing that Shaka is huge and has massive hands, does he think he could have made it as a basketball player? Also, can he dunk a basketball? <laughs> I've seen Shaka play basketball. Well, let, let, me, let, hold on, let me tell my own story, please. We've had okay. that question I'm before, I'm sure. I'm a very good basketball player, I'll have everyone know. I miss my calling by becoming a goalkeeper. Shaka, you're terrible. No, that's not true Absolutely at all. Absolutely terrible. That's, that's not true at all. Have you seen him? Pardon? Yeah. I'm very good, Stephen. We went on a cruise together and there was a basketball court and he had to play against like other people on the cruise. And you kind of think, look at Shaka, right, athletic, Shaka's tall, good, he'd be great. Missed everything all the time. It's very wavy, Steve. <laughs> you, it was, the seas were rough. The seas were rough. <laughs> the seas were, seas were rough, Steve. I've heard you the seas, seas were rough. On other subjects. Yeah. So it was a that. bit choppy that day. Can you, can you dunk a basketball? But not anymore. Not anymore! <laughs> <laughs> I used to be able to. Yeah? Yeah. What, when you were like a toddler and you had one of those little No, buttons? so the, 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 when I was at, at university, the <laughs> soccer team, we actually entered a team into the intramural basketball league. So we used to play. We used to play like in the off season. I used to, I could have dunked. Pretty easily if I missed this for myself. How high is a basketball now? 11 foot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, forget that. Uh, apparently it's 10 feet, not 11. Well, I used to dunk in an 11. Yeah, 10 really? I used to dunk in an 11. Are you telling me you play basketball? Said, you don't know maybe, maybe, maybe that's what happened on the cruise. I was aiming at the 11 foot. Hey. <laughs> maybe that was it. What height were the goalposts? Uh, huh? What height was the, the Nine goal foot. Part? Yeah, there you go. Uh, Jules, what's your basketball skills like? Very good, actually. Really good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Do you you can take like mine? The Just children like mine. are playing. Really well, better than yours, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure.
<laughs> My children are better than your children. Here we go. Uh, Final question. Oh, Stevie, right up your uh, right up your alley. What do you miss about Christmas from your home country? Oh, the songs, goodness. obviously. Yo. The, the music. Oh. Everybody wishing oh, you goodness. Merry Christmas. No. You don't miss anything. No. no. Of course you don't, because it's you. <laughs> you hate holidays. I don't hate holidays. Yeah, you, you hate you hate happiness. I just don't get caught up in it. You you, you hate people being happy all the time. No, I just I just don't get caught up in it. Which does uh, which country does Christmas better, England or France, Jules? Ah, uh, has to be France. I mean, in France we celebrate on the 24th in the evening, in the night. You've got a family dinner as well there. When it's all nice in the UK, they go to bed at 11 or well, 10. Uh, they, they, they don't eat much because they know they're going to eat a lot on the on Christmas Day in itself. So it's not it's not the same fun. So I'll take I'll take France. Well, of course you got to go to bed at 10, 11, then Santa comes, then you get up, open your presents, then off you go for the day. <laughs> that's the way it should be yeah, done, Jules. Yeah, you can celebrate on Christmas Eve as well. Oh man, Jack, what do you miss? The food. Yeah. We do really good food in Trinidad. Especially, well, we do a thing called pastels, which for me, with core meal and minced meat, it's, it's, it's incredible. And I miss that desperately. Oh. So I normally, whenever I go home, if I, when I go home, my mom would order and I'd bring them up and we'd keep them in the freezer till Christmas. But of course, I haven't been able to go back to Trinidad for the last couple oh, you, you, you have been the real victim of COVID. Yeah. <laughs> but, me and my pastels. You're your pastels. <laughs> me and my pastels. You'll just forget. What's that? Well, they might start the 24th. Right. But in Britain, they do Boxing Day. So they actually have two days as well. OK. So... <laughs> I just sort of throw that in there. <laughs> so? Say <laughs> <laughs> what? You know what? Hey, that'll that teach hey. you, Jules. Hey. <laughs> hey. hey, I'm trying to stick up for him, right? Okay. So what does he do? <laughs> hey? Hey, watch. Good job. Let me reach. Let me reach. <laughs> that is it. We're done. Thank you very much. ESPN FC is back on your screens tomorrow. Uh, Stevie, you be here. Don't talk to me. That'd be nice. Huh? We'll be reflecting on what happened in the Champions League. And, uh, and that'll be it. Hey, I'm not watching your dog either. All right, well, uh, then don't, don't watch the yeah. dog. That's all right. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Eleanor watched the dog for me. Oh, God. You'd have to be involved. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, right. Come oh. in, Tommy. That's it. We're done. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.